That was an interesting conversation with uh, Bob Chapek. Obviously, it came after his uh, appearance at the Communicopia uh, event not far from here, where any number of uh, both tech and media CEOs uh, were speaking or at least questioned. Um, you know, guys, we haven't had a chance to catch up with Mr. Chapek since Dan Loeb's letter of a number of weeks ago, where he outlined a number of different things he felt the company at least would be uh, smart to take a look at. The thing that jumped out at me in some ways was the, was the idea of cost cutting. And so that's kind of where uh, some of our discussion went when I asked him how that letter uh, resonated. We uh, welcome the input from all of our shareholders, and I think all the things that were in that letter are things that we either have talked about, are talking about, uh, uh, or even engaging more in the future. There's, you know, uh, whether it's, you know, the integration of Hulu, which we, we would love to do tomorrow, if, if, if we could, obviously takes a willing partner on the other side, at least before 24, but that's imminent anyway, uh, whether it's ESPN, which we just talked about, uh, whether it's, uh, you know, uh, share buybacks or dividends, those types of things, right. we've already said that. What about SGA? and Because you know what, it, it, I have to admit, I mean, I've followed the company Cost. closely for years, but that was one area I thought, hmm. You know, and I looked more closely into it. I mean, your SG&A costs, I'm told, excluding parks, were about three and a quarter billion. You know, the only company significantly higher is Warner Brothers Discovery. Your annualized SG&A for Disney across the business has grown from 13 and a half billion in calendar second quarter 19 to 16.4 billion in the last quarter. This despite three billion of cost synergies. Right. Your CFO, Christine, recently said, we're very, very focused on SG&A. Is there an opportunity there? Oh, there's absolutely an opportunity there. An opportunity that's been underway for several months as we've now come out of the pandemic. Because remember, Disney was one of the companies that was probably the hardest hit by the pandemic. And restarting the business was the focal point. But now that the business is restarted and restarted so strongly with the strength not only of streaming, but of parks as well, we are now focused on the maintenance of the business, the running of our business, and we're asking ourselves a lot of hard questions coming out of the pandemic is what does this SG&A world have to look like, not relative to what it used to be, but in the modern area. What it, and so Christine and I are, as I said in the conference, arms locked on going and making big progress against that. Now, Jimmy wouldn't give me targets per se, but it's interesting to hear Disney CEO talk uh, uh enthusiastically almost about the opportunity that he sees in terms of potentially cutting costs and something that investors may want to keep in mind. You know, there was a lot in that Loeb letter, but that's kind of at least what I thought was interesting. And when I looked at the numbers, yeah, you know what? There, there is a lot there. We talked obviously about a lot of other things, including what they spent on content and ESPN and Hulu, which we'll bring you uh, as the morning goes along. Yeah, this is a great report, David, because one of the things that I'm worried about, and you know, obviously came up with your great interview is the balance sheet really is bad here. I mean, this is Disney. Uh, someone wrecked the balance sheet, and I think that that's got to be addressed. The reason I say it's got to be addressed is because this company used to be a blue chip company. Uh, maybe some cost cuts can do it again, but where's the dividend? Well, what happened here, David? Well, the dividend is not something that they're focused on. It doesn't seem, Jim, in terms of really in reinstating a significant dividend um, because of what you just cited uh, and also because of the focus on what right now is a, uh, a business that consumes a great deal of cash, right, direct to consumer. Right. Um, I mean, you know that. They're looking at, obviously, 24 in terms of sort of the t big turn. They obviously have over 200 million subs. We're talking about this ad tier that is coming and will be significant. And, he's, and JPEG says uh, and said in the conference, and we talked about it as well, at the very least margin neutral. But uh, listen, you're right. A lot of debt taken on there. And not to mention, and we'll get to Hulu, um, you know, if in fact you were and when you are going to buy that out, that's not going to be cheap either. So uh, no. certainly, certainly some, some reasonable questions there that you're asking, yeah.